Right, I saw something in the news that made me laugh a couple of weeks ago. It was um, the Channel 4 news report, and they were talking about Ukrainian refugees, and obviously that's not funny. Um, and, but in the report, right, they're talking to this Brummy lady, this white Brummy lass, because uh, this Brummy lady, she's taken in a Ukrainian lady, and that Ukrainian lady's kids, obviously a very noble thing to do. But what made me laugh is, right, they're talking, the news report is talking to her, and this Brummy woman's like, yeah, I've had a bit, I've had a bit of a problem with her. And, and the news report was like, what, what, why? And she's gone, well, because you see, I live in Birmingham. It's quite a mixed area. And this lady, she doesn't like brown or black people. <laughs> <laughs> and I genuinely couldn't stop laughing, right? And you might think it's a, you might, you might have gone a bit awkward, but I couldn't stop laughing because I thought this woman was in Ukraine with Russian bombs raining down around her. She's panicking, trying to leave the country. And she remembered to pack racism in her little suitcase. <laughs> so like, I put that in there. Yeah. Get that, top shelf, get that top shelf racism off there. Put it in there. Put it in there. Right, I'm ready. And, and I've, 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 you, don't, you, you don't know a lot about me, right? Some of you might follow me online, but most of you probably don't know who I am. I've, I've had a lifelong dream, a lifelong dream. And that dream is to tell a white person to fuck off back home. And honestly... <laughs> honestly... I swear to God, I feel like I'm about three weeks from that dream becoming reality. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. I'm like, oh, what will I do with my life after that? Once that's done, God take me now, I'm done. I am done. <laughs> uh, any questions? <laughs>